spicy asparagus is on tap for this afternoon. So today I'm going to work with asparagus fresh from the garden or if you aren't that fortunate from the market. One of the things you need to do with asparagus is to trim it off. So I've got a, about two bunches of close to two pounds, but we're not gonna have quite that much when we're done because I've already trimmed off about an inch. You're gonna wanna break one and where it breaks, you can line them all up and cut them all about the same place. And then I'm gonna cut them all about one inch I like to leave the, the tops intact, so if some of those are a little bit longer, I'm good with that. And we're going to set those aside until we're ready for the next step. I'm going to heat a skillet to about medium heat, and as that gets warm, we're going to add our oil. Now, asparagus is super at this time of year, and to me, this is a serving, but uh, for a lot of people, that's not the case. Uh, so I'm trying to find something. This is supposed to serve six people. As I said, for me, that's not going to work out. The other thing that's nice about this recipe is if you do have a smaller family, it's really easy to cut this one in half uh, or to increase it as long as you have a pan that's long and large enough to, to do that increase with. So I've got one clove of garlic here that I've minced. If you don't think you're gonna like the taste of garlic in here, uh, go ahead and leave the garlic whole or just cut it in half so that you can take it out later. We're gonna, not quite as hot as I would have liked it to be, we're gonna let that simmer, just sizzle uh, for no more than 30 seconds. Our goal is it to infuse some of that garlic flavor into the oil, but we don't really want it to brown at this point because it's gonna continue to cook when we put the asparagus in. So we've got our closer to one and a half pounds of asparagus. I'm gonna put that in there. And this is basically stir frying, except we're gonna add a little bit of water to it as well. Uh, we want it to uh, actually steam a little bit as it goes. So I've got a tablespoon of water that I'm gonna put in the pan too. And that's gonna evaporate off, but it's gonna allow enough steam for the asparagus to cook. And this is gonna cook stirring fairly often for about four minutes. Right, after your four minutes is over and that's going to be flexible depending on how well you like yours done. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt and one and a half teaspoons of chili powder. Now at first I'm going I'll never be able to taste the asparagus but trust me when this cooks down we're going to cook it for about one more minute when it cooks down and blends together it is absolutely awesome. Okay, we want everything to have some coating on it. That oil is still there and helping us pull that chili powder together. And after our one minute, we're going to add one more ingredient to this. We're also going to add, uh, make sure I get you the right amount, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Now again, this is something that's flexible. You could use a different kind of vinegar as well. I probably would not go with balsamic because it's going to be a little bit too sweet, but a sherry vinegar would be really nice. All right, we're going to take this off the heat turn off our pan and we're going to add that vinegar to it right here. This is another one of those instances where you don't want to be standing right above the pan when you add that vinegar to it uh, or it's going to clean your sinuses and make you wish uh, that you had not done that. All right, I keep throwing them back in. They're landing on a clean table. I hope you don't mind. This one's ready to go. As I said, this should serve six people, depending on who you are and how much you like asparagus. For me, there's never enough. I hope you'll try this one. It's Spicy Asparagus for Oklahoma Gardening. I'm Barbara Brown.